Hello, welcome to the Boardmasters vlog. I'm going to keep this short and sweet because it's going to be a long one. I already know. I'm so excited for this vlog. I'm so excited for this festival. If you don't know, Boardmasters is a music festival held at Watergate Bay in Newquay, Cornwall. And as well as there being incredible music headlines, there's also surfing. There's like a lot of ocean based activities. You can surf, like we can surf, but also there's professional surf competitions as well as like loads of other things going on loads of different kinds of tents that aren't just music there's, there's just a lot it's not your average music festival obviously it really lends to the location that it's in like there's so much you can do in Newquay that it's just going to be the best vibe I'm going with one of my best friends Katie we made a pact last summer when we went to Newquay that we were going to go this year so without further ado let's get into the Boardmasters vlog the first thing I did this morning guys was a little supermarket shop because we are camping four nights camping at a festival who even am I this is so off brand I've never camped at a festival before but there really wasn't another option with this one if we wanted to go we had to commit to it So I went to Lidl to pick up some bits and bobs for both of us The backpacking backpack is back <laughs> How many times did I just say back? I am gonna fill this with as much stuff as I physically can including clothes, camping gear, potentially also the tent and food are you ready? So, in here is all of my outfits. I can't lie, the weather helps so much right now because it's mainly all bikinis, little tops, two pairs of shorts, a skirt, and then the shorts I'm gonna travel in. And then also actually a pair of trousers. And then in here I have underwear, hats, a little bag, just other bits and bobs, makeup remover pads, like all of that sort of stuff, just the extras. I know that this fits in the top of the bag because I am an expert with this bag. Please do excuse the mess. Okay, so I'm doing this downstairs where there's a bit more space. This is basically just going to be a big old game of Tetris. This bag is deceptive, like you can fit a lot in it. It's just the awkwardness of the shapes of things, so I'm going to have to like work out what works best. But we're going to try. Wish us luck. Now, I'm not saying I have a skill for packing backpacks, but I really think I have a skill for packing backpacks. In here, I mean, there's nothing to say, I can lift it up. Actually, it's not too bad. In here, I have oh. the tent, the mattress that I'm gonna sleep on, so the blow up bed, the sleeping bag that I'm gonna sleep probably not with because it's so hot, my clothes, so I have about 10 days worth of outfits because I've kind of gone for like all extremes. I also have my underwear, my handbag, various different hats and accessories. I also have a foot pump to blow up the air bed. And guys, bottle of water on the side. Not saying I'm an expert, but I am sort of an expert at packing this bag now. This is how we're looking. Obviously the backpack is full with everything I just showed you. Then we've got one camping chair each. So Katie's gonna have one, I'm gonna have one, and one bag each. So we've got food and drink at the bottom of this bag. And then the pillows, we've got little camping pillows and a picnic blanket each because we want one picnic blanket for like the tent and then one for like actually going down to the beach. So this is a beach towel. But they're actually not too heavy. Like they're weighty, but they're not unmanageable. That's kind of, where we're at to be honest and i'm pretty pretty happy with this i'm just shocked i've got the tent and all this stuff in this bag go off 35 pound from Berghouse. mad it's only a brief hello because we have just set off guys ah! she says at a standstill yeah <laughs> we've come to mcdonald's first it is 8 47 we are actually gonna like crack on and leave now but we are heading down to plymouth and then we're getting a train from plymouth for a number of reasons Mainly because I didn't want to drive my car into the festival because I'm not the best driver and the roads in Cornwall give me the fear and also it'll be carnage getting in and out and I just thought, no. no. Um, and it was actually like not really any more expensive to park at Plymouth train station for the week than it was to park at the festival, like it wasn't too much more. And I thought, for peace of mind, we're going to get the train the last leg of the journey. So we are heading down to Plymouth. It's still seven hours from where we live. Obviously we live in the north. Even further if we'd come from Newcastle. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> but yeah, basically we're heading to Boardmasters. Um, Are you laughing at me? No, I filmed you and then I was like, oh wait, I just said. You filming like, that's what you're like. <laughs> no. Are you joking me? Have you seen what I look like? Guys, in the time that it took us to go in there and eat a carvery, I've got a rash. That's not ideal, but also the focus point of that sentence is we just had a carvery. Sorry. We're really stocking up. I, yeah. I, I, sorry, sorry, Kate, I don't want to be in it. <laughs> kind of random, we just pulled up at this pub that I've actually, like, I've been to this retail estate before, like, south of Gloucester. So I was like, oh, I know there's a pub there. So we came in and the, then just as we walked through the door, there was a carvery all set up and we looked at each other and Katie was like, 
I think it's yeah. time. So we had a Carvery, which was not in the plan, but... It's also like 30 degrees. It is, it's 30 degrees, and we're on the way to a festival. However, we just thought, stock up on the vegetables, stock up on the actual food, and... This will um, be the last proper meal we'd probably have. Yeah, this will be our last proper meal. I mean, I guess we'll have like pizzas and stuff. Yeah, but like, yeah. But like decent big, big meal. decent meal with vegetables until Cooked at meal. least Tuesday or Wednesday. So uh, we shall see, but I'm pretty happy with that. But we've got two and a half hours to go until we get to Plymouth train station. Gloucester was kind of like the halfway point, so we're gonna carry on with our little road trip. We've only gone and made it to Plymouth. Next task, get to Cornwall with the bags, of which there are quite a lot. It, they don't fit that well, but they're fine. <laughs> Guys, if you could have only seen the saga that was us setting up this tent, us even finding a bloody spot. Actual carnage. It is pure vibes though, but... Oh, we have done it. And we've you know we've got a tent up, guys. You know what the best bit is? What? We've got the box wide. The box wide? <laughs> I'm so glad I did Duke of Edinburgh that one time for this exact experience. It's the only time it's ever come in useful, so that's good. We've made it. We've settled. I look reasonably alive, but don't be fooled. I'm actually wet with sweat to the point where it's disgusting. And I don't know where this confidence has come from to just vlog in front of like a whole crowded area of people. I mean, look at how many tents are behind me. But also, I kind of just think, you know what? I don't care. The vibes here are immaculate. Look at what I'm looking at. This is insane. This is like the main arena over here. Sunset, obviously. And then over this side, we have the actual town of New Key which I think we're gonna go through tomorrow so there will be some new key content this is like mine and Katie's favorite town in the UK like I if I could move here I would but it's so bloody far away um, but yeah this is like the main town you can kind of see it actually maybe not but the fairy lights are also coming on which is cute and then over here we have big wheel some rides it's literally like a heat wave right now guys it's like 34 degrees um there was literally signs the whole way down the motorway like be careful in the heat wave and we're like Hmm. Camping, um, but it's it's just so exciting. The vibes, oh my god! Look. <laughs> one in the tent guys is it gonna be a success plush bets are we gonna get any sleep i think we'll get some sleep i hope we get some sleep because i'm quite tired i'll see you in the morning good morning guys it is friday now we are in new key we have got the bus into the town the great thing about this festival is that it's like quite encouraged for you to like leave the actual campsite and like go into the town to watch the surfing to head to the beach um Which we vibe with because we love new key we do we love new key so much this is both of our third times here yeah. one of my favorite places in the entirety of the uk if you've never been it's just probably arguably the best seaside town that there is in my opinion but yeah we're gonna head for breakfast then we're gonna have pop to Morrison's, pick up a few bits and bobs, like a couple of drinks, some bits that we don't have with us. And then we're gonna head to Fistral Beach to watch the like, actual surfing competitions, which is, I think, how this festival started. Yeah, it is. But yeah. It was kind of the whole point. But it's nice because it makes it feel like, it's like a bit more like holiday. -y. You're yeah. not like sat out at your tent all day, which is when I think you can sort of feel a bit just like- Dead dead and like sticky and I mean, gonna I mean I do still feel sticky I'm very warm I am I'm wearing a whole outfit from cotton on today okay got this hat on and even though it looks hilarious it is doing quite a good job whoa echoes <laughs> doing quite a good job of keeping my head cool slash not in the sun but yeah I need to take some pictures of my outfit but I think it's kind of kind of cute it's replaced is a five point one seven so plenty of big scores being dropped early on Third, it was Serpent in Green, 
John Garmendia Gonzalez in second and progressing through to the final will be surfer in white Frederico Carrillo and taking the heat win with a combined total of 13.57. Surfer in red of France, Eduardo Del Perro. We are getting ready to go and see George Ezra and go into the arena and get some food and just like have the evening of like music vibes. But we're just basically getting ready in the tent at the moment. Katie is behind me. We're sitting here. We're drinking warm wine. Okay, you can't see me because of the sun. Like, no, actually, warm is an understatement. Hot, hot wine. Uh, mulled wine would be colder, actually. Out of paper cups. Hey, mine's a take that cup. It's not paper. Katie has a take that. <laughs> I look like Ariel from The Little Mermaid. We are walking to the main arena. It's about a 25 minute walk from our tent. Not far now. No, not far now. This is Katie's outfit of the night. Very cute. Can't actually really see it because of the sun, but we sort of match. This is my outfit of the night. You also can't really see it because of the sun. But I've come dressed as Ariel from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh, the camera do not be We're working. We're still drinking the warm wine for we, the journey. We do still have the warm wine. Journey us. juice, journey juice. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Never? No. What? I love that. George Ezra is the headline tonight, and I'm buzzing about that to be fair. I've never seen George Ezra before, but I think he is. I think it's the vibe. It is the vibe. Like, this vibe is George Ezra. Yeah. The sun. The heat, the summer, gun, yeah. Green, green, grass, green, green grass. Green, green grass. Like, well, it's not green. Look at the grass. Yes, brown, brown, brown grass. I <laughs> saw a tweet the other day that was like, George Ezra is to summer what Michael Bublé is to Christmas, and that is no, that not is wrong. it. We listened to him in the car on the way down to be fair, yeah. and the vibes were immaculate. Ultimate road trip. I literally music. was riding shotgun. She was riding shotgun, shotgun under the hot sun. The vibes are immaculate, guys. I mean, this is a bit depressing, yeah, Katie is right, but look behind Katie, ready? Look at this. Oh, sunset. The sea is right there. Right there. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so basically, we're just vlogging at Board Masters 2022. I've met a fan. <laughs> if you met me, it'd be right. No. Uh, is this going to go in the vlog? It might. Are you doing a board masters vlog? I am doing a board yeah. masters vlog. Are you actually? Are you doing a board masters vlog? I'm not doing a board masters vlog. Well, I am. It's quite relaxed. It's great quality, isn't it? Do you want to show your channel out? Yeah, I look fantastic. Harry Emblem, H A R Y. Yeah, my brother's called Harry. Is it? Yeah. E M B L E M. Just subscribe to it. Harry Emblem. You're definitely going to put this in the vlog, aren't you? I might leave it in the vlog, yeah. Just subscribe. Trying to get to a thousand subscribers, like. How many of you got a thousand? Yeah. Just trying to get to uh, Molly. Molly. Just trying to get to Ellie for a <laughs> Ellie. Still Molly. Yeah, just trying to get the same as Ellie, you know. Basically, just met. Right, like, I was a YouTuber and now my memory kind of full. So Are we that. YouTubers now? Building. It's good quality, isn't it? God, I look fantastic. Yeah, I, look for that. I look great. Mm -hmm. It's worth lighting. It's night two in the tent. Last night we slept okay. I need to check these earrings out. It was like, for me, it was like the weird half sleep where for like half the night I was kind of awake asleep and like I kept like hearing other people's music and stuff and like being aware of the fact that I could hear the music 
but then I felt like I was asleep as well. And then after like 4 a.m. I think I did properly sleep because the music kind of went out. Hopefully tonight's gonna be the same or better. Um, it it could have been so much worse. It could have, yeah. I anticipated it being so, so much worse. Like I haven't camped in a tent really. I camped briefly in Australia, but like probably like when we used to do it just for fun, when we were like- Yeah, why did we do that? I don't know why we did that. When we were in sixth form, we used to just like camp for funsies and like people's we gardens. Little friendship group. Yeah. But I'm not talking about like campsites. It's not really like, we did do that one time and that actually was all right. But like we just used to camp in people's gardens. I'm like, you just sleep in the house. Why like, we, you have a house. Like, camping is basically not for me. I'm just, it's not for me. I'm sorry. But you're fine now. I am fine actually. This, this tent is nice. We're using our friend Jenny's tent. All the memory cards full. Basically we're going to sleep now, but yeah, that other guy filled up my memory card. Sorry. filmed anything today guys it's not been the biggest success but it's also not been a fail we've come down to Fistral Beach again so we got the bus from the campsite we wanted to go surfing but the waves are just not it like to the point where they've actually like postponed Boardmasters itself because obviously if there's no waves the surfers can't compete um, so instead we've come to what's this called Fistral Beach Bar Katie's over here behind me um, we're just having some lunch really I've got a vegan burger and I'm very excited about it because I'm very hungry um, but then we're gonna head back to the campsite for about 5 p.m. Okay, not not too sure how good the lighting is, uh, but we have got change. We're gonna go and see Mimi Webb. She's the first act of the day that we wanna watch. I've done this thing with my hair, guys. Did it without a mirror, which I'm actually quite impressed at, but like, I'm not sure I'm vibing with that. I feel like I look like I've come dressed as like an alien, but it's okay. Got this bikini top on, which is, of course, from Cotton On, as are my white denim shorts, which will they stay white at a festival where I'm just dripping in sweat? Potentially not, but I'm very excited. We're gonna go and watch Mimi Webb. We're also meeting up with my friend Becky, who you guys might recognize and know if you watch the Thailand vlogs, because she is here, because she is actually from Cornwall, which is so, so, so cool, and just like so random as well. You know when you see people and you're like, this is not the environment in which we know each other from, but like it's cool. So we're gonna meet her and then we're gonna head into the arena, but guys, I can't tell you, I cannot express to you how sweaty it is today. How stunning this is. What the hell? We didn't come here yesterday. I haven't seen this yet. The giant bee over there. Can't really see because of the sun, but like, oh my gosh, look at the cliff, look at the stage. The vibes are. Mwah. She looks way nicer. Katie got halloumi pasta. I've, I've never even heard of that before. Neither, but it's it looks amazing. What would you little maniacs like to do Guys, it is Sunday. I'm here with Katie. Obviously, no, me and my other friend <laughs> actually. The campsite. Yeah, we've got matching plats in today. We're channeling the 
it's the last day of a festival look and we're going surfing. And we are hopefully actually gonna go surfing today. Obviously yesterday we came down to festival, we tried to surf, there just wasn't a surf, there was literally no waves. But today there is actually a bit of a wind, so we're like fingers crossed, maybe it's gonna be better. But first we're gonna go for a smoothie. <laughs> Again, this is our third smoothie. They're keeping us going. <laughs> they to be really honest. are. I we're... think it's the reason we're surviving. Honestly, that and the fact that we actually haven't been drinking that much yeah. just because it's so hot guys. Like there's literally well today's actually quite a bit cooler but so far it's been like unbearably like hot water. <laughs> water at a festival but like otherwise I simply may have died yeah we're heading to get a smoothie and then we're gonna hopefully go surfing and then enjoy the final day at Boardmasters I cannot believe I know I thought it's gone so fast it's gone so quickly like, in a nice way and a sad way. in a night yeah definitely we're in Newquay town now guys uh, uh, pretty iconic if you ask me. Oh also, yeah, we're not just going to the festival today We also have tickets to the official boardmasters after party, which may just kill us off. I think it simply will kill us off. <laughs> I know, I actually think it's gonna I'm be so much sure fun. I'm not sure why we just do it on the last night. No, I don't actually fully remember committing to it to be fair. Yes, we just you do. We got tickets and I was you like, You picked oh, yeah. this one. I sent you all three and I was like, we have to do one. Yeah, no, um, I picked this one because tonight playing is Jax Jones and yeah. I think that he was the best option because like I do like Jax Jones. Yeah. So. Anyway, we're at. He probably won't be there. Okay, so like he won't come until 4 a.m. There's no way we'll. Okay, no. The after party lasts till 4, and he's performing at Boardmasters till 11, so he's not gonna be there that at the early. club until like I think like one. Like it's it's gonna be like a DJ set, isn't it? There's gonna yeah. be people before him because it's Jackson's and guests. Well, maybe they'll be good. Maybe they'll yeah, be good. probably. Oh, you can see Boardmasters from here. Yeah, I didn't even know. I didn't that. notice that either. Anyway, we're at Kook. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Um, this is the smoothie place we've been coming to every day. They do so many good smoothie options. We're going there again. Guys, we are about to head into the festival for the final time. Outfit of the night is also cotton on the whole thing, but I have actually got a bandana on. This is a little hack, guys. My hair is greasy, it's day four of a festival. Also, we spent the day in the ocean, so it's just not looking too cute. Like, I've got it down otherwise, but like, it's just not the vibes, to be fair, but I do love a bandana. I usually love a bandana with my fringe out, but my fringe is not fringing, so the fringe is in the bandana. <laughs> Katie's hair looks super, super cute. I actually did do it. But look at these little plaits she's got going on slash bobble things that she's got going on. Very cute. Anyway, we're gonna head to see the Wombats now. I'm very excited. I actually did see the Wombats play Leeds Festival. However, I was quite drunk and I don't remember it. That was not a success. So I would like to see the Wombats and remember seeing the Wombats. So we're gonna go there now. Got myself an espresso martini guys to get me through the final night of Boardmasters, but look at this vibe. Immaculate. Everybody is packing up and leaving guys, it's Monday morning. It's the final campsite we. Here we go. <laughs> it is a momentous occasion. Okay, he's calling it the end of an era. 
Ugh, guys, it's been a long time. Um, we're now in Plymouth. I'm not even gonna turn the camera around because it looks so grim. We've got a takeaway Nando's. Actually, I will just talk to you. We've got a takeaway Nando's. We're staying in a hotel for the night back at Plymouth train station, which is where we eventually got back to after a right old trip. Obviously, the entirety of Boardbusters tried to leave Newquay, which is a very small town, at the same time. So getting out was chaos, but that's a story for another day because we made it. We've got Nando's. We're in a very plush looking bed in a very random so hotel. Yeah, oh my god, we we had the nicest shower. Not together, that sounds like we had the shower together. <laughs> we didn't do that. We had the nicest showers of our lives. I was so happy to get in the shower, honestly. I was like, <sighs> cleanse me. And I think it did. It did. Ish. Anyway, now I'm gonna have an Nando's and I'll probably go to sleep in like half an hour, not gonna lie. Very, very tired. We look so matching right now. It's cringy, but we're actually not going to see anyone except when we go to the services. The only time we're stopping is at the services, so it's fine. But we did buy matching Boardmasters t-shirts, so, you know. It's so cool. We are. Have you even been to a festival unless you buy the t-shirts? They are actually nice. They are. Compared to, like, a lot of festivals. I actually prefer this to my Leeds one. To be honest, I very rarely buy festival t-shirts. Because oh, usually they're so expensive and I don't really wear t-shirts unless I'm, like, in True. the gym. True. But I actually really is. like this one. Also, I'm really glad we went for this colour instead of... Pink white. Because, or, pink or, or pink, white. Yeah. Because it's very like sea sand. Everyone has pink. Yeah. Anyway, that's not the purpose of this <laughs> clip. The purpose of this clip is to end the vlog. And I think this is probably a very, very long vlog, guys. Because even though I feel like I didn't film too much in one go, it's been over like six days. So it's probably quite long. So I'm just going to end it here. But we have had the best time. We have. I'm super sad the vlog is ending. I'm super sad the trip is ending. Yeah, like, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> just the vlog coming to an end. It's just been amazing. It was everything we kind of expe expected it to be. And so much and, more. And better. Yeah, yeah, like genuinely, genuinely. If you've ever considered going to Boardmasters, okay do it i honestly think it's the best festival i've ever been to i'm not Same. sure one will ever top it like i'm going to leaves next week and i'm excited but it's not in cornwall is it like the vibe the, the sunset the sea the surf literally everything was just so us yeah it was but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it if you were at a board masters too let me know down in the comments or similarly if you're heading to leeds next week or reading but i'm not gonna be at reading but i'm gonna be at leeds but yeah other than that we're just gonna go we've got a nice six hour drive ahead of us Good. Rick. Good. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be fun, but hopefully you have enjoyed this, and I shall see you guys with another vlog on my channel this weekend. Bye. Bye.